Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. We have here Xiaomi's new Redmi Note 12 4G, which is of course a different beast from the 5G model which has already come out. Let's do a quick comparison in our hands-on video. The designs of the Redmi Note 12 and Redmi Note 12 5G are much the same, along with the nearly identical name, but don't get them mixed up. You will notice that the 5G version's back is curved. The 4G model is flat and also a little bit lighter in the hand, barely. Probably the biggest difference between the two versions is the chipset. The Redmi Note 12 5G runs on a Snapdragon 4 Gen 1, built on a 6nm process. It's a lower tier mid-range chipset which provides decent performance and 5G connectivity. In contrast, the 4G model runs on a new Snapdragon 685, also built upon a 6nm process. It seems to be an overclocked version of the Snapdragon 680 we've seen previously. We'll have to test the performance to see what's the real difference under the hood here. The other change between the Redmi Note 12 4G and 5G is in the cameras, specifically the main cam. On the 5G model, there's a 48 megapixel main cam, and that's paired with an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro. The 4G Redmi Note 12 again brings that same ultra wide and macro setup. The main cam is different though, with a 50 megapixel sensor. That means the quality from the main cameras should be noticeably different, since there's a different camera and chipset too. The rest of the package is basically identical between the two phones. They both have a 6.67 inch AMOLED display with a 1080p resolution, a 120Hz refresh rate, and Gorilla Glass 3 protection. Both Redmi Note 12 models also bring IP53 rated splash proofing. There's a headphone jack and just a single speaker on both models too. Both the Redmi Note 12 4G and 5G have a 5000 mAh battery and 33 watt charging. And you get the latest MIUI 14 interface too, as you'd expect on a new Xiaomi phone. So there you have it guys. Overall, not a huge difference between these two versions of the Redmi Note 12, but there could be something to this new Snapdragon chipset, even though it doesn't support 5G connectivity. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.